What is going on guys welcome back to another android application development video in android studio. So recently I have uploaded a video how to create chat gpt application in android using open ai api. In that video I have received lots of comment about timeout issue and also how to copy the text sent by the bot and also how to use new gpt 3.5 turbo model in this application. So let's do all of those things in this video. So let's get started. First thing we will see if we send any message. We got the message but we can't copy this message. So for that we will change something. Let's go to our chat item. That is the item for recycler view. Where there are two text view. One is left and one is right. So if we want to make our bot message to be copied. We can do one thing. Go to this text view. And add one more attribute that will be selectable. Text is selectable. You can set it to true. So this text can be selected and copied. If you want to make same for the message which we have sent you can set it selectable to this text view also. So I will make only for this one. Let's run it. Now if you write any message. I got the reply I can copy this by long pressing it. I can select the text. And copy it and you can paste it anywhere. So this is done. So second issue lots of people were facing is timeout issue. So when we write some message like write poem of 500 lines. So as you can see we have got this error fail to load response due to timeout. So when we write the message bot will take some time to process the message and return the message. So while it was processing the message default timeout of OKSGP OK got over so that we got this timeout exception. So how to solve that we can increase the timeout. So to increase the timeout we will go to main activity and we have this OKSGP OK client over here. We are initializing it with new OKSGP OK client. What we will do we will initialize it with builder method. We will do dot read timeout. So if you go to this method read timeout from here you can see over here the default value is 10 second. So if bot replies within 10 seconds we will get the message. If it doesn't reply within the 10 second we will get the timeout. So now we will increase the timeout let's say 60 seconds and the unit will be time unit dot seconds and we have to just build it. So we have increased the timeout to 60. You can increase it to any time but 60 will be enough for us. Let's run it again and write the same message. Since it is taking long time to process the message. So as you can see I have got the response since it is a long poem it is taking time to process and return the message. Now we are not getting timeout exception because we have set 60 seconds to timeout of OKSDTP. OK so from this your timeout issue will be gone. Now third thing is how to use the new model of chat GPT that is GPT 3.5 turbo. So let's go to open AI first. So open AI. Go to this website. Go to developers over here. Select on API reference and go to chat over here. Previously we have implemented this completion. We have used this URL and also these models. So now go to chat. We are implementing this chat. We have this new URL. Let's copy this and in our project I will paste it in the URL section. Here we are giving the URL so I will paste it over here. It will be the new URL. Let's go back. So here you can see we have to pass the model and array of messages. So inside array of message we have role and the content. Inside content we have to pass the message. So let's change our JSON object so that we will use this from now. I will go to JSON body here. I will remove everything and I will make a new JSON body. So first I will add model that is GPT 3.5 turbo. Let's copy it. So JSON body dot put model model will be GPT 3.5 turbo. Second thing is message array. So for that we have to create a JSON array. So I will create JSON array message array new JSON array. So in this JSON array we will put one object that will have role and content. 
so i will make another json object obj equals to new json object here in object dot put i will put role as user and obj dot put content as this question whatever we are sending so in this way we have put this in object now we will put this object in message array so message array dot put object now our message array is ready we have to put it in json body so in json body dot put key will be messages and the value will be messages array so we have added model and the messages so our json body is ready which we are sending we have changed the url also now let's come to json object response so previously we are getting the array that is choices array there we were extracting first element and from that we were extracting the text now the response will be choices array now in choices array we have message object inside that message object we have content so let's go back to the project here we will remove this we'll get the first element from choice array get json object that will be message you can see over here message inside that we have content dot get a string that will be content now content will be saved on result and we will get the result so now let's run it and test it now our chat gpt should work so hi there can you write poem of 20 lines where every word starts with a So as you can see we have got the response now we are using new chat completion and the new model that is gpt 3.5 turbo and one more issue people were facing is that quota limit raised so where to check the quota limit so you can go to openai website you can go over here click on manage account and you can see over here how much you have used so i have used only one dollar till now from 18 dollar so if it reaches 18 dollar you will get that exception of quota raised so that's all for this video if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video Bye bye